What's up? Brandon and Marco. We are here in the uh, beautiful Mickler and Friends bottle shop uh, where you've just made some really nice upgrade with some brand new fridges looking super nice. The hop wall. Yes. We're here to uh, go through the March beer mail club, uh, beer mail box rather. So you just celebrated your fourth birthday. Fourth birthday, yeah. What did, uh, what did you have going on? Crazy releases, people lining up from half past one at night, like last year. So people waiting outside and then early in the morning when we come in before opening, we feed the people coffee and pastries and spirits. So awesome. another crazy, crazy day. Cool. And there will be uh, plenty more of those during uh, Mickler Beer Week Oof, yes. leading up to NBCC. Have a lot of releases here. Uh, if you don't have a ticket to NBCC yet, there are only yellow session tickets available and very few, so make sure and get those soon uh, because it, it's a week unlike any other. It's, uh, it's it, a blast. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, once we're past our birthday in here, everyone starts honing in on May because nothing Nothing compares to that one week, especially in here. It's insane. Let's uh, start with our first beer. Yeah. So we have uh, Hair in the Mailbox, uh, which in Danish is? Holy Postkassen. Basically means uh, you're in a rut, you're in trouble. This is a uh, beer we did in collaboration with Irma. Uh, it's a grocery store chain here. Uh, so this is a West Coast IPA, 6.3%. Give it a taste. After a period in here where we couldn't stock enough of the hazy stuff, we're slowly but surely seeing people returning asking for IPAs that are actually bitter again. So, cheers. Cheers. It's not, uh, it's not super bitter, but it has some bitterness. Definitely a pretty strong uh, malt backbone. Especially if you're used to the hazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's a throwback to a it different is. era. It is. Organic Pale Ale, 4.3%. Uh, uh, like I've mentioned in previous videos, uh, organic beer, gluten-free beer uh, is really important to us at Mickler. Um, and uh, it's, it's no easy task uh, making an organic beer. Sourcing organic hops is quite difficult. Let's, uh, let's try it. I also have to say I really like the uh, the artwork on this one. Uh, I like all Keith's artwork, but this one's really cool. Very clean. Yeah. Crisp. Kind of grassy. Yeah. Drinks really easy. Yeah. Summer crusher. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, I was just about to say. All right. So we have a little bit of a series up next with uh, some seven dwarfs uh, type motif going on. This is the Idaho 7 series. So you have a double dry hopped pale ale uh, with Idaho 7 and a modern IPA with Idaho 7. Start with the pale ale. Yeah. Always start low. I poured my first. How rude of me. You're my guest in here, so it's okay. <laughs> Idaho 7 to me is a pretty interesting hop. It, it's got really, a, to me, it's really earthy. Yeah. Uh, and not, not in a bad way. Has some uh, grape-like qualities to it. Yeah. Like really subtly. Uh, how much alcohol? 4.5. Yeah. Also drinks really easy. Yeah. Summer hit right here. Let's try the modern IPA. Upping the alcohol a little bit this time. I hope so. Oh, significantly more hazy as well. Yes. Wow, it's a beautiful color. Really nice nose. Yeah. This one is a bit more uh, floral than the paleo. I yeah. don't get as much of the earthiness. Uh, I would have thought it would be the other way around, actually. Yeah. But this one packs a bit more punch, also. Yeah, yeah it's it's not as easy drinking, and that's not, not in a bad way. Uh, it's just, it, it's a uh, much fuller body. It seems like the hops have been dialed up a little bit, also, in the uh, yeah. flavor and aroma. Yeah. I it's get that Riesling thing from it. Yeah. Nice. Vega. So this is another collaboration we've done. Uh, this is Mickler and Vega, hazy APA. Uh, Vega. Very famous venue here in Copenhagen. 
used to be a gathering house for the workers movement way back when but now it's like easily one of the best and most coveted venues in, in Copenhagen and also I mean how many times have you been to a concert and really just wanted a proper beer instead of macro bullshit now's the time so is this available only at Vega and to our people or yeah exactly uh, yeah you'll only find this at the venue or in your beer mailbox so that's a big plus for any non-Danes who don't plan on frequenting Vega anytime soon. Yeah, 4.9%. Uh, it is uh, quite hazy. Nice color to it. Yeah. Cheers. It's, it's crisp. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's really tasty. I was about tasty. to say the same. This is what you want at a concert, you know? Quality without being over the top. It's not too overpowering. It's not like you can only drink that one and then you're done. Perfect for a four-hour Grateful Dead concert. <laughs> <laughs> or for when Thundercat comes back, hopefully. Yes. Next up, Hazen Alley Hops, 5.1% Pale Ale. I kind of like that pale. When it's hazy, I kind of like them to be... Yeah. It's good. Has a has a little uh, sweetness to it, but not not too much. Uh, I know we're kind of hitting a theme here, but very drinkable. Yeah. Uh, summer is coming, so yeah, might as well get that summer body ready now by drinking all these IPAs. Mm -hmm. The beer coming up here has um, my favorite coffee beans ever in it. I'm very curious to try it because. The Kiani beans from Coffee Collective used here are easily some of the best beans I have come across and it's one that I keep coming back to, so. This is a Beer Geek Flat White with Kiani. Uh, oatmeal stout with Kiani coffee beans from Coffee Collective. Seven and a half percent, so not too crazy. Really nice tan head on that. Yeah, has some of that lactose in the flavor, uh, the aroma. Yeah quite a bit of a roastiness to it. Yeah. Mm. That's smooth. It has some sweetness, but it's it's balanced really well with the bitterness, I feel like, from the coffee. It's, yeah, and you uh, kind of get a little bit of that fruity berry yeah. like from the coffee. Like, yeah, for sure. It helps sure. if you know the beans, but. Yeah, on the, on the end of it, you definitely get some berry. It's a really. Fair, fairly easy drinking for a stout. Again, it's 7.5%, so it's not one of those have five sips, sit down in your reclining chair and fall asleep kind of beers. Yeah, mm. really nice. Another uh, 375 milliliter bottle for you. And this is the newest addition to the Spontan family. Spontan Acai. Uh, Acai, I think is a what, South American berry. Brazilian? Uh, so sure, it's a superfood. So I'm not gonna say this beer is good for you, but liquid vitamins. Let's taste it. I think it's super high in uh, antioxidants, like most uh, blue-colored berries. So healthy beer. Heard it here first. Healthier beer. Oh wow. A bit lighter in color than I would have thought. Actually, it smells a bit like blueberries, but a tad sweeter maybe. Wow. It's sour, but it's not super sharp. I think the berries do a good job of rounding it exactly, out. Exactly, yeah. It kind of takes the sharpness off the end of it. Holy yeah. shit, that's good. A very welcome addition to the Sponson family. Uh, last up? Last, but certainly not least. Uh, oh. I feel like it's an overlooked style, but honestly, this is what I am crushing at home lately. It's my favorite new Mickler beer. East Cold Classic. Classic is a... A Danish style of beer whose origins are kind of muddy. I think both Tuborg and Albani claim creating it. Uh, it's basically a Vienna lager, uh, so a bit more caramely than a normal lager. Yeah. Mm. Looks like a classic for sure. See through bit darker in color. Yeah. I, I'd say it's, yeah, for style, like Vienna Lager, it's perfect color. Mm. It's just so good. It's, it's, it's smooth. It's, it's a classic. I, yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic. It really is. So that is the last beer. Uh, as an added bonus, the glasses that we have been drinking out of 
you will also receive one of these in the box. Um, they're super cool, new design from us with a Sally whispering something to Henry that is surprising him. I hope you enjoy the box. We'll talk next month. And remember, get your MBCC Yellow Session ticket soon because there's like very, very few left. And I want as many people to experience MBCC as possible because uh, it is just such a fun time and such a great community. Cheers. Cheers.